Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today I'm going to be doing a 2018 review of the iPod Touch 6th generation, and we're going to find out, is it worth it? Okay, so first we're going to start off with some specs. It has the A8 processor with the M8 motion coprocessor. It has a 4-inch diagonal display, and it is 0.24 inches thick, which is also 6.1 millimeters thick. It has Bluetooth 4.1, and it has an 8 megapixel rear camera and a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera. It has up to 3x zoom, digital zoom that is, and it can record in 120 frames per second slow motion video, 30 frames per second 1080p, and 30 frames per second regular 720p, but the slow motion video if you record with iMovie you can just regular record in 120 frames per second in case you want to slow it down or just want a like a really high frame rate video. The resolution of the display is 1136 by 640 at 326 pixels per inch and it has an 800 to 1 contrast ratio. As far as app compatibility there's absolutely no issues as this can update to the latest version. It may not play Fortnite I'm not sure because they say you have to have an iPhone 6s or above but I have an, uh, a friend who plays it on the iPad iPad Mini 4, which has the A8 processor, which is the same as iPhone 6, which is the same as this. So it might work. I'm not entirely sure. But as you can see, I've downloaded a ton of apps. Some of these apps don't actually run anymore because they're like from iOS 6, like Asphalt 5. Like it'll just say it needs to be updated for iOS 11. They haven't updated it because it's really old. Okay, so total change of subject, but this is one reason I really like the iPod Touch 6 is the option of colors. You have space gray, gold, silver, pink, blue, and product red, which is this iPod here. And I really like the uh, product red color. So now we're just going to do a quick real world speed test. So I'm just going to go to Safari and it should pull up the Apple.com page. We're looking at the colors and as you can see, it went super fast. Now we're just going to go to regular Apple.com and as you can see, loaded right away. No issues. It's even quite a bit faster than my iPhone 5 over here that's actually like sitting right here. I just did a review on just in the case. But uh, as you can see, it loads extremely fast on Safari. Uh, let's try the App Store and see how fast that App Store loads. It should load pretty decently quick as you can see already loaded. I believe last I searched was Geekbench. Yep, so Geekbench. Okay, I was going to download it, but for some reason it's not recognizing my purchases. And last thing we're going to try is loading Instagram and it should load pretty quickly as you can see it is loaded and yeah so that's pretty awesome isn't it it's extremely fast and um we'll do one more actually we'll do youtube this is just to give you an idea of how fast it is our wi-fi is 60 megabytes per second it shouldn't be holding it back because 60 megabytes per second is pretty quick i would say Okay, oh good, I got another subscriber, thank you for that. Okay, so as you can see, it's working pretty awesome. So, as far as speed, I would say there are absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. So now we're going to do some camera tests. First, I'm going to do a slow motion speed test. It's at 120 frames per second at 20, 720p. So, let's see how it does. Okay, so I'm going to drop this wooden block on this table, which I'm going to be recording at. So, three, two, one. Okay, so as you saw, slow motion was pretty good. It's not as good as something like the iPhone 6 even because it's 120 frames per second. Next thing we're going to do is take a picture or so of something and just see how the quality is. So I'm going to take a picture of my camera here. Pretty good quality. Okay, and now I'm going to take a picture of my iPhone 5. And these are both with the flash off. I'll do one with the flash on of my iPhone 5 as well. That's what I use for a lot of my thumbnails, as you might notice. So let's go ahead and look at those photos. So I've got the camera picture here. So you can see 
and my iPhone with the flash off and with the flash on. It looks pretty awesome. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to say is I'm very happy about this thing being compatible with iOS 11. It's really not that slow as you saw, but it's not the fastest device on iOS 11, obviously, like the iPhone X and the iPhone 8 and 7 Plus are, but it's still pretty fast, especially on iOS 11.3.1 from what I've heard. Every device sped way up from there, and this one's still on 11.1.1, and it's not that slow. So that is one thing I really like about the iPod Touch 6th generation. So, to answer the question, is this iPod worth it? Well, it really depends. If you plan on upgrading to an iPhone anytime soon, I'd just go ahead and get like the iPhone SE. It has the A9 processor and is quite a bit faster on iOS 11 because the 6S is and they share the same processor. But if you're not going to get a phone anytime soon, you might you could go ahead and get this as it is only $200, but you can find the SE for $200 on eBay brand new somehow. Don't know how that works, but it does. Also, the iPod Touch 7th generation might be coming out soon. There's not really any leaks or rumors about that right now, but it's a possibility because I've seen like very, very, very little leaks and rumors about the iPod Touch 7th generation. But if you want it, go ahead and buy it. I don't think you'll regret it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was informative about the iPod Touch 6 and it was everything you need to know. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you're feeling like being awesome, go ahead and drop a like on this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.